friends welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is miriam and in today's video we are reflecting on to be my second semester of second year definitely really wild to think that i've been making videos for two years now and through this whole process i really just wanted to document my journey through university um this term since classes were in person i got to meet some people on campus that watch my videos and a couple of you actually told me how helpful my videos have been so i'm super 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 happy that i can help students through this whole journey but yeah with that being said i'm really excited to reflect on this term because it was probably my hardest term academically but most rewarding one thing to mention is that the first month of my courses were completely remote so until i think february 7th all my courses were online so they posted lecture videos just like how they did for the past two years all right so this video i'll split it into two so the first part will be academics my courses what i took what i thought about each course and then the second part will be like of the fun part of the term um so yeah let's get started with the courses all right, so the five courses I took this term was CS240, which is Data Structures and Data Management. Second course is CS251, Computer Organization and Design. The third course I took was CS241, Foundations of Sequential Programs. And the fourth course I took was Math 239, Introduction to Combinatorics. And the last course I took was an easy elective, SPCOM 227, which is Leadership. Um, now I'll go through each one and what I thought about each course. CS240, Data Structures and Data Management. This course, to be honest, was really challenging for me, especially the first half since it was a lot of like proofs and learning about runtimes, average case, expected case, and it was very proof heavy, which is something that I'm not very good at. That's what I realized. But the second half of the course was much better. I thought um, it was a lot of like data structures and algorithms that I've never heard of before. Um, some of them include like two four trees, B trees, range search, KD trees, string matching algorithms like KMP, Boyer Moore, suffix trees, suffix arrays, compression algorithms, dictionaries, trees, AVL, skip lists, hashing. So a lot, a lot of content in this course. And a lot of the content was things that I kind of knew of before, but now they got into more into depth on how to perform each one of the algorithms. So the second half I found which is much, much better. It does get better. So don't worry if you're struggling the first half. And then in this course, we had five written assignments and three programming questions, actually four programming questions, but they drop our lowest one. And those programming questions were similar to leak code, but a little bit much harder, I think, because they really tested us on the edge cases. So that's why our class averages were insanely low. Most of the class averages were from like 40s to 60s for these programming questions. So yeah, they were pretty challenging, but also really helpful in like practicing leaks code style questions. In this course, there's also a midterm and a final. And this is the part where I'm going to be very like honest and vulnerable with my experience. I did not do well on the midterm at all. I actually failed the midterm before the curve. So they did curve us for the midterm. So after the curve, thankfully, I did pass, but not by a lot. Yeah, I did not do well on the midterm. I It was my first ever in-person midterm. I was so stressed. I was so nervous. And I felt like I didn't have enough time to finish. It was much longer than I expected. And to be honest, I did spend a lot more time on questions that I could have done faster. And that left me with no time for like the last question, which was like eight marks. So yeah, I did not do well in the midterm, but, but I did end the course with a 70. So that's not too bad considering that I did not do well on the midterm. But I just wanted to be honest with you guys and say that a lot of people fail midterms, finals, courses. It's totally fine. And it's part of the experience, I'd say. So don't worry if you don't do well in a course, and especially if you don't do well in a midterm, that does not mean that you fail the course. Um, you can still do pretty well. So yeah, do not worry. School is hard. University is really hard. Course number two, CS251, Computer Organization and Design. I personally didn't mind this course. The first half, I thought before the midterm was really straightforward things, like things that you've done before, like and or gates, logic, computation, all those things. Um, so nothing really brand new, fresh out of nowhere. But the second half of the course, I found it a little bit challenging because it was things I've never done before. Pipelining, single cycle, virtual memory, all those things. But to be honest, this course, 
is very fair and the assignments are pretty straightforward if you understand like what they taught in class. Assignments were so fair, like you can get them done in like one to two hours. But yeah, I thought this course was very fair. The midterm was really fair. The final was really fair. So don't worry, this course is one of the easier CS courses. All right, the next course is CS241, Foundations of Sequential Programs. It was mostly self-learning. I had a hard time with. Um, they just gave you modules and you had to read through them. And some of the modules were like really long, like 10 to 24 pages. And the notes were really organized. But the fact that I had to read through them and there was like a couple of videos to help you along the way. And I found it hard to like go through the modules and stay focused because I get distracted really easily. The way that I learn best is like watching videos and having notes and like going through the notes as I watch someone explain me how it works. Um, and this course was not doing that. So for me, it was a little hard, but I would say the assignments were, were very time consuming. Like they weren't hard, but it was very, very time consuming. And the reason why I found it really hard is because I started them very, very late, like at two or three days before they were due. And to be honest, that's not enough time to do these assignments. They're very time consuming. So please start them early, but it was a very cool course. Like I learned a lot. I learned about compilers and at the end of the course, we actually made our own compiler. So that was pretty cool. We did have a midterm and a final and both of them were also very, very fair. Like it was content that was straight from the modules. We did the practice problems from the modules. It was the same thing. But I would say the content and the assignments after the midterm got a lot more challenging and a lot more time consuming. So do prepare yourselves for that. All right, the next course is Math 239, Introduction to Combinatorics. Everyone before this course told me like, you have to be aware, like it's a really hard course. Like, but personally, I found this course yeah, it was hard, but it was also very, very enjoyable. Like the questions that they gave us and the problems that they gave us were very challenging, but in a way that was like interesting to solve. I personally liked this course. This is my favorite math course. Um, I liked it a lot more than Math 135 and 136 first year. So I personally didn't find it too bad. The assignment questions were a bit tricky and like time consuming. But like overall, I like really enjoyed this course. The first half was enumeration and then the second half was graph theory. The profs did a really good job in organizing this course. The midterm was a little hard, but the final was very fair in my opinion. And finally, my last course, my elective, the course that I could breathe and not think about CS numbers and coding, SBCOM 227, my leadership course. This course was very fair, very chill. I thought the prof Tim Patchy did a really good job in delivering the content. It was a lot about like leadership, how to become a better leader, skills and qualities of leader, and just like overall like leadership in our everyday lives. And so a pretty chill course. There was like weekly reflections and then three like big um, essays that were worth most of your mark. All right, so now we will talk about the fun things of the term and just like Overall, what it's like being on campus, having in-person classes, being around so many people, meeting so many people, um, and extracurriculars. This term, since I had so many courses, so many of the courses were very demanding. Like in a lot of my courses, I'd have to spend like 10 to 15 hours on each. I didn't have a lot of like free time and I'm going to be completely honest during my free times I'd prefer to like go out with friends instead of like spending time on like my extracurriculars so I do want to be really honest and say like I did not put a lot of time into my extracurriculars oh yeah and Wix did hold like one in-person event it was like our end of term relaxing game boards and pizza event and that event was like honestly so fun it was my first in-person event that Wix held and I loved it I think in person events are just so much so much better like you can actually talk to people and make genuine relationships and friendships whereas online it's just like it's not the same it's really really not the same and it's kind of sad that like the first year and a half of my university experience I had to do it online because now I realize how 
much more rewarding it is to be in person. Not only like do you do the exams yourself, like you actually have to study for exams and like prepare well for them because now you can't rely on your notes. And also like meeting people, going to the library, studying with friends, going to the gym, going out. Like there's so much to do when you're on campus and you have in-person classes, which wasn't the case when we were all online. I also wanted to point out that I had such, such a supportive environment. I had such a good group of friends where we were able to push each other in academics, but also have fun. My roommates especially, I love you guys so much. Ju, Bonnie, Irene, Veronica, you guys are literally my queens and I love them so much. So I just wanted to give them a shout out because they did really help me through this term and we were all there for each other through the bad and through the good as well. So yeah, they were my queens. And I think it's really important to mention like how important it is to have like a good group of friends around you. So yeah, be open to meeting new people because you never know like what they could bring in your life. I really do believe in like how every person in your life will bring something out of you and make you realize of something no matter how small that like impact is. So yeah, that's why I love meeting new people because you just never know. Like you never know what could be made out of it and you never know when you can see this person again and where you'll see this person. So yeah, just be nice to everyone and be open to making new friends because you just never know. I also really, really like Waterloo's gyms. Both of them pack and sift a lot. Like I went five to six times a week and it honestly was like my vacation from school. Whenever I entered the gym, I did not think about school whatsoever. And it really helped me get through school and like just be more healthy and fit. Because I do think if you want to do well in school, you have to have a healthy body and mind to do that. And this term, I did get out of my comfort zone, which I'm very thankful for. I went out more. I went up to like arcade bars, I went up to parties, clubs, um, those things that I've never really thought I'd do before, but now that I'm 19, I did want to experience. A lot of my friends lived on the same street as me, so it's just really fun to like just be able to go to our friend's place anytime we wanted to. I like know that this is an experience that I'd never get back again, like when we're older and we're living in different countries and different places, different cities, um, we won't be able to just like walk down the street and go to a friend's place and like have tea or something. This university experience I'm very thankful for and this term especially just made me open my eyes to new opportunities, new friendships, new experiences. Also Ramadan during the last month of the term so I was also able to do some iftars with friends which was also just like a very wholesome experience as well but yeah overall this was a very solid term academically I struggled a lot and I just really enjoyed being on campus um but yeah that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed I was very vulnerable and honest with my experience this term I did fail things but we made it through I'm very very thankful for everyone that I met this term and everyone that watches my videos and came up to me and told me how helpful my video have been you guys are the best and that's why I keep making these videos but yeah if you have any other questions feel free to comment them down below or message me on my Instagram I love chatting with you guys but until next time I will see you all later bye everyone